Imagine a world where rivers once flowed, valleys were carved by water, and seasons changed much like on Earth. Could Mars, the red planet, have once boasted a climate that included seasonal weather patterns? In this video, we will delve into the idea of seasonal climates on Mars and explore the potential role they played in the formation of life. Today, Mars presents a barren and arid landscape, but there is evidence suggesting that liquid water once graced its surface billions of years ago. While we have documented the presence of long-term wet environments, such as ancient lakes on Mars, we know far less about short-term climate fluctuations. Scientists have pondered whether these water bodies resulted from isolated incidents like meteor impacts or volcanic eruptions temporarily melting ice, or if they were part of a more comprehensive global weather pattern. By observing weather conditions on Mars for two Martian years since the landing of NASA's Curiosity rover in Gale Crater in 2012, researchers have recorded seasonal fluctuations. After years of exploring silicate-rich terrain, the Curiosity rover embarked on an expedition into sulfate-laden surroundings, marking a significant environmental transition. Recent revelations from the rover suggest that ancient Mars experienced seasonal weather patterns similar to Earth, featuring alternating wet and dry periods. Scientists have been astonished by the possibility that these distinct seasonal cycles might have played a pivotal role in Mars history. The rover's diligent research team observed a shift in mud crack formations within this unfamiliar domain, which is a telltale sign of altered surface drying processes. These observations imply intermittent water presence on Mars, indicating cycles of water appearance, evaporation and recurrence. These processes ultimately culminated in the polygonal patterns recognized as mud cracks. The presence of well-defined mud cracks suggests a history of high-frequency wet and dry cycles in early Martian environments. These discoveries propose the intriguing possibility that Mars once hosted seasonal weather patterns. This fascinating chapter in Martian history offers a unique opportunity to explore the polymerization of organic matter and its self-organization all impeccably preserved in the geological record of the Red Planet. Despite the cold and arid landscape we see today, these mud cracks provide a glimpse into a transitional era when liquid water still sculpted the Martian terrain. Furthermore, these features hint at wet-dry conditions akin to Earth's environments, where organic molecules can thrive and life may have found a foothold. Collectively, these revelations are painting a more vivid portrait of Mars as a potentially habitable planet. On Earth, when mud cracks initially form, they typically create a distinctive T-shaped pattern. However, as wetting and drying cycles ensue, these cracks transform into the more familiar Y-shaped pattern observed on Mars. What's particularly intriguing about this discovery is the shallowness of these mud cracks, suggesting that the wet-dry cycles on Mars could have been seasonal or even more rapid, resembling flash floods. Researchers also uncovered a remarkable pattern of hexagonal ridges in the mud of Gale Crater, a remnant of a former Martian lake. According to their assessment, these distinctive features could only have arisen from recurrent wet and dry conditions, each persisting for approximately a Martian year or less. While we were aware of Earth's seasonal shifts, we had little knowledge of other planets exhibiting such patterns. Now, we have concrete evidence that Mars, too, had its distinct seasons. Scientists suspect that these ridges initially represented desiccated mud cracks subsequently flooded, with minerals filling them in and some sediment getting eroded over time. However, a more resilient blend of mud and rock would have persevered, ultimately giving rise to these distinct ridges. These mud cracks would only have been formed if they had gone through seasonal climates that only operate with a high geological frequency. The red planet experiences many extreme temperature swings due to the planet's atmosphere, which is 100 times less dense than Earth's. Ranging from minus 195 degrees Fahrenheit in polar winters to 70 degrees Fahrenheit next to the equator at midday, it undergoes more pronounced seasons than its neighbor Earth does. It hosts polar ice caps and huge dust storms. The climate on Mars has a significant impact on the planet's surface and various geological processes. Distinctive hexagonal formations 
measuring approximately four centimeters in width, provide valuable insights into sustainability. These formations allow researchers to estimate that, during ancient cycles, the water depth was around two centimeters. This suggests a remarkable regularity with these cycles likely recurring over a Martian year at that time, potentially lasting for millions of years. Interestingly, similar patterns can be observed on Earth in specific environments, like California's racetrack playa. While this area is typically a dry lake bed, it undergoes temporary flooding with a shallow water layer during the rainy season. Remarkably, the rock formations on Mars displaying these patterns date back approximately 3.6 billion years, aligning with the period when life is believed to have first emerged on our planet. In summary, based on our current understanding of the essential conditions for life, the possibility of life originating on Mars seems to be on par with that of Earth. These necessary conditions include the presence of liquid water, organic materials, vital elements, minerals, and available energy sources. Scientists provide multiple arguments suggesting that the chances of life emerging on Mars might even surpass those on Earth for several reasons. Firstly, Mars likely received more organic matter due to asteroid and comet impacts. Secondly, sulfur, which is a crucial element for biological processes, is more abundant on Mars. Additionally, Mars had an advantage in terms of life's origins, as Earth experienced the sterilizing impact that led to the formation of the Moon just 20 to 100 million years after its existence. Moreover, Mars underwent frequent wetting and drying cycles, along with freezing and thawing conditions, which are essential for concentrating organic compounds. These cycles were likely more prevalent on Mars during its early history. Furthermore, while Earth had 95% of its landmass under water, Mars only had 5% submerged. This implies that, despite its smaller size, Mars would have had three times the land area, providing more opportunities for life to develop there. Beyond the intriguing possibilities for life, the cyclical wet-dry weather on Mars may have contributed to the formation of vital life molecules, including RNA and proteins. These molecules originate from the basic building blocks of organic matter, such as amino acids and nucleotides. Laboratory experiments have demonstrated that the chemical reactions required for processes like polymerization and condensation often benefit from alternating periods of dehydration. As we gaze towards the distant red planet, we are reminded of the endless possibilities that lie within the cosmos. The quest for life on Mars continues to be a tantalizing mystery, one that may hold the key to understanding our own origins and the potential for life beyond Earth. Thank you for joining us on this incredible journey of imagination and exploration. Together, we continue to reach for the stars, one discovery at a time. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Until next time, keep looking up, for the universe is full of wonders yet to be revealed.